a single Trident II missile is equipped with up to eight nuclear warheads aboard a multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicle, or MIRV. A single W-88 warhead delivers the equivalent of 475 kilotons of TNT. In the case of a full deployment, the United States could unleash over 400 such missiles with between six and eight warheads each. From the time of launch, it can take less than 10 minutes for an SLBM to reach its target, or as little as five minutes if it is flown on a depressed trajectory. This allows a very short margin for reaction. Early warning radar systems in Russia, China, and elsewhere immediately detect the missile plume. They can determine the trajectory and intended target of the missiles. Minutes fracture into seconds. This is not a test. This is not scheduled. Russian nuclear command and control systems carried over from the Soviet era leave little time to opt out or delay a full-fledged response. Within 50 seconds, the missile has peaked above the Earth's atmosphere. It reaches its top speed. The engine drops off. The bus releases multiple warheads as well as decoys. The radar systems on the ground are overwhelmed and unable to differentiate the two when they are in post-boost phase. Re-entering the atmosphere, the decoys burn off and the warheads enter their terminal phase. It will be less than 180 seconds before they touch down. 